Welcome to Emax 2. My name is Sherisha Lewis and today we have a very quick video for you. We're going to show you how to key your green screen the proper way on Adobe Premiere CS5 or Adobe Premiere CC. A very quick video in Hollywood as you can see different people in different places and the only thing they have to use is a green screen to show these people in this type of different places they want them while the a real image is shot in location. Let's get right into it. Welcome back to Emacs Tube. Right now you're looking at the image. We're going to demonstrate how to properly remove your green screen. This image is not a download. We shot it on our own studio. The model we have on set, her name is Ariel. If you're looking at closely, we have some rain call on our background and we're going to do our best to remove it, uh, this green screen as good as possible. Let's get started. On our project file, we're going to go ahead and tap all tracky and he's going to come up. We're going to take the all tracky uh, and drag it to the uh, video we want to green screen out and as you can see on the effect control panel uh we're gonna click the eyedropper and we're gonna clean on uh, click on our green screen to tell premiere exactly what color we want to key out as soon as we cl click on the green screen you can see uh the green turn to black and we still have our subject there we're gonna go on the composite and change it to alpha channel as you can see the our model turn turn into white and the background still black. We, if you're looking at clearly, we have some white on the background and we need to keep what is white, white and what is black, black. So therefore we're gonna go on the uh, matte cleanup. We're gonna open matte cleanup. And right now I cannot tell you exactly what to do, what number to put because it's trial and error. You're gonna have to go ahead and try it yourself to see which number work for you because it's all depend on uh, how well you light up your background and how far away it is from the background for you to change it. We're gonna um, change soften and see what we got. As you can see, some of the white spots starting getting out and we have some kind of black started to come on the uh, subject that we have on our model. We need to remove every little black spot uh, inside there because we want, as we said, white, white and black, black. We're still messing up with the soften to see how best we can get it. Like I tell you, there is not an exact number uh, to remove a green screen the proper way. It's according to uh, how you light up your background, how you light up your subject. You need to have key light, fill light, hair light for you to do a very good job and you need to light up your green screen separately. The only thing we can do, we're going to keep uh, playing with the choke, soften and the contrast to see how best we can remove this green screen where we don't have uh, anything that's going to show. Now we're going to go back and change uh, composite back to composite and we're going to change custom to aggressive and as soon as we do that you can see most of the shadow disappear and we're gonna go back on the uh, matte cleanup yeah we're gonna keep playing on the highlight change the highlight to see whichever one is best for us uh as you can see there is a very black space and uh, we start getting good the pedestal we're gonna play with them there is no exact number for this it's for you as soon as i move it as you can see i got some uh white shadow up here then i bring it back the pedestal back to 100 you have to keep trial all this uh, uh pedestal um shadow to get it now let's go get and grab an image to see uh what we got because that is the best way for us to know exactly if we're good at uh, uh at that green screen and we're gonna drag it to uh the timeline and bring it as you can see we got a very clean um uh key remover right now we remove the green screen properly if you can see this is starting to be a very good job but if you look at on the corner you can see some shadow we have to remove that shadow and because if it stay like that it's not the best we're gonna click on our uh, uh video again and on the matte cleanup we're gonna take the contrast to 100 and see uh uh if that fix it um for us uh there you have it uh this is the way you can remove properly your image as you can see the corner is right now clean we don't have uh, any more problem and uh, i'm going to show you the final uh, project this is for your viewing pleasure <music>
like to thank you for watching uh emax tool today and if you like that video do not forget to give it a like and the most important thing we would love to have you have as a subscriber please like the video and subscribe so you do not miss on any of our latest video thank you for watching